Alright, we're going to do a run today. Uh, I've got 10 gallons of apple, used Fuji apples in here. Um, 8 pounds in each. Uh, I've got 4 pounds of sugar in each. And this time I add some uh, enzymes to help break down the apples and give it a little more flavor. So we're going to go ahead and get it in the pot and get it started. Alright, we poured one in, we're going to get the second one in. Uh, get this over. Ah. And yeah, so I'm just pouring it in and recycle or rinse this this out um, on that. So once we get it all in here, we'll fire it up and may go get a couple blocks of ice on there for the to keep my water cold uh, since I'm kind of recycling my my water. Um, on that. So, you see that in there? That's where our mash is. So, we're eh, somewhere around that rib, I would say. On that, if I stick my hand in, yeah, just above. Uh, about there, just below that. So, got plenty of room for the cone, so we'll go ahead and fire this up. is coming up to temperature. I went and got some honey crisp apple cider. I'm going to put it in the thumper. See if we can add a little flavor to it. A little bit under a half gallon. That. So, we'll see if we can get some flavor out of that. Uh, on there, I'm also bought some apples. I need to put some apples in there. I haven't cut those up yet. Alright, I cut up three apples there. Uh, Fuji apples. I went ahead and cut them up and I'll put them in here. I've already put the apple cider in here. Um, we'll see if we can get some a little extra flavor on the, the uh, doubler here. The thumper. That in there. There we go. And so we started this about an hour ago. We're slowly bringing it up to temperature here. Uh, looks like we're at what one, 120 on that. So we're getting there. And that's the cone. Uh, got a little glare there. That's about 110. So it's coming up. And we got nothing on the the doubler over here yet really no well it is starting to rise a little bit we are getting something over to there so all right keep going starting to percolate here just started uh 
that thumper just got up to temperature. Um, and so here we are getting the four shots right here. So we'll collect a little of four shots and go from there. I did put some ice in my barrel. I got a bag of ice. They didn't have any block ice. I was surprised. I don't know. Nobody uh, makes block ice anymore. At least the store by us didn't have any. All they had was bag ice. So we'll keep putting that in there. Um, but yes, we are finally... I brought it up to temperature really slow. It took about two and a half hours to heat about ten gallons. So I didn't want to... Always afraid of scorching on that. So... There we are, there's our first little bit coming out of there, the acetones and stuff. And we will go ahead and uh, go from there. Alright, there's our four shots. Uh, there. That tastes like alcohol. We are into our heads now. So we'll go ahead and put this away, start collecting our heads. And go from there. Alright, looks like we're done with jar one, and we'll move on to our milk jug jar two here. have to give that a proof, see what we're coming out on jar one. Yeah. And yeah, I'm not good with bubbles just yet, but I'd say we're above a hundred, I would think. Alright, let's see what we got. Proofing on here. Charge on here. And we are. And we're coming out. So the first jar came out about 140, I would say. So came out stronger than I thought. Uh, we'll see how it goes. In the jar, it uh, uh, alcohol, the jar is, is fairly cool. It's probably 65, 70 degrees because I got that ice in there on that. So all right, well I'm curious to see what the second jar does. Jar two is filling up, so we'll swap this out. Jar three. And get the lid off. Jar three. Ah! Alright, I had a conundrum with my copper raccoon pecker makeshift. There we go. Now we're back in there. Alright, let's put this in jar two. And we will see what the proof is. Now, it's just a little longer to dissipate, so. Got bubbles. Alright, let's see what we got for. On jar two here. We'll just swing it to go. Hydrometer in there. We are at a little above 130. So we're about 130 proof. So it looks like we went down about 10 proof as we go along here. So looks good going. We will put in jar four. Leaving. So yeah, change 
finished out, it's got jar three, working on jar four, we'll, we'll go ahead and see what the uh, uh, proof of jar three is. Oh. Alright, let's see what we got going on with jar three here. As far as proof. Alright, let's spin that around. And we're right at 120 on three, so we keep going down about uh, uh, 10 proof each time, each, each jar. Taste this one, see what we got going. Ooh, you can taste the apple in that. You can definitely smell it. Alright, let's move to jar five. This is jar four. Let's swap this out. And get on that. And then we can see how this is doing, whether we're down to 120 proof on that or what. Because we probably are going to start getting into the tails here pretty soon. All right. Let's take this over. Jar is cool, so the liquid is coming out still cool. I pretty much I'm down to my ice jugs. Use two bags of ice on that, and it has definitely made a difference adding those two bags of ice. Uh, let's see where our proof's coming out at. We are right at 100 on that. Okay, good. Alright, here's jar six. We may not go much past. I'm not even sure we're going to fill up jar six. Starting to smell the tails coming in. Uh, we are definitely on the tails. Um, but let's see where we're at. I got a lot of bubbles. Bubbles uh, on the proof there. All right, so here, jar five. What we got here. We are get, definitely getting to the end, but you can smell the apples. It smells good. And we are at uh, about 90 proof. Uh, I did, uh, didn't mention, but I do have some cinnamon stick in here um, on this, and it tastes pretty good. So I think we did good on this batch. Jar six, I think we're gonna call that our last jar. Let's go ahead and turn this off. And turn the gas off. Oh. Well, that looks to be slowing down right there. Um, so yeah. Uh, our apple run, it is done. Uh, I got six jars out of it, so a gallon and a half out of ten gallons of apples. Um, all right, thank you.